Hello, people. I'm going to do a quick reading. A quick reading for you, Scorpio. What Scorpio need no day? What Scorpio need no day? What Scorpio need no day? I love you, spirit. We thank you so much. What Scorpio need no day? What else Scorpio need no day? What else Scorpio need no day? What else? Spirit. Okie dokie. Here's what Spirit wanted you to know today. It says, count your blessings. Thank the universe and angels for the blessings of your life. So you need to write down all the blessings you're grateful of today, Scorpio. And put it on paper so the angels can help you and express your creativity. You need to, uh, ex today, somehow, tell your angels that you, you're thankful for allowing you to express your creativity. <coughs> And thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. See, they're speaking to you. And you might tell people this 111 and they don't believe you. But Spirit give you a new beginning and a new a new way to show people. You're going through a transformation. Archangel Zachiel, thank you for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. See, you learned how to transform. Maybe use a cauldron. But you're a peaceful warrior, and uh, you sh you know how to stand your ground. Archangel Ariel. And peace and harmony, Archangel Raguel. Thank you for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Ooh, isn't that wonderful? Spirits just got you glittering and shimmering. Put that gold light around you. I see it twice, and blue, and purple. <coughs> But you are protected. Archangel Michael, thank you, Michael, for supporting me with your protective light. Thank you, Michael. <coughs> so the angels are proud of you, and they want you to know they're very, very proud of you. Very, very proud of you. Spirit, can you give us a tarot? message for Scorpio today. The tarot message for Scorpio today, Spirit. Hmm. You got transformation twice. So look, there you got transformation, uh, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. So you're breaking free from hiding your emotions under the moon. You've changed into a new being. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry, let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything come clear. So now... You're seeing why a tower had to fall. See the towers back there? See the towers? See the towers back there? That's what that means. So you're getting a breakthrough. Um, and it's telling you, Three of Pentacles, it's telling you to do what you love at the moment. Recognition for the higher quality work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft, working with well with others, and excellent reputation. And... The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So you're getting ready to receive some wealth in whatever job occupation you do, and it's and Spirit's asking you when you receive this wealth to share it the correct way. Okay, Spirit, we will, won't we, Scorpio? Tell Spirit we will, and we thank you, Scorpio. And we thank you, Spirit, for guiding us. Oh, and then we got three uh, swords right here. And this was about heartbreak. A betrayal, you know. A great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. So you're, you're healing your heart from the past past ways of doing and acting and somebody must have hurt you and in your marriage and 
and you took time off you a temporary pause for reflection and insight that's what you did you started seeing things in a whole new light because you went through an awakening you understood that, that that sadness you you just had to let go of past hurts and and uh, now it's telling you you need to protect what you've created be prepared and never give up ask your angels for help environmental activism and animal rights so maybe you're Standing up for what you believe in at the moment. Uh, maybe you're you're an activist. And if you are, that's wonderful. But it's telling you that rewards that comes from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. You're moving towards public recognition. Whatever you're doing in your life right now, that's what it's saying to me. Okay? And you need to make that a priority and focus and do that every day whatever it is that you're working on and let me give you a little message of mine because i'm just going to make these readings about 12 or 13 so i can get a few of them out today you guys i'm trying to grow my business and when you see me upload a new one go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all <coughs> and i'll start doing these bicycle messages so this is for july this is scorpio this is for you for july a little reading all right, and I'll get you a love message too. So we'll get you a regular message and a love message also. All right. Oh wow! It says you're a person that gets your guidance from spirits. This stems back to your lineage of Indians. Ooh, so you're an Indian descent, maybe Scorpio. And it's telling you that you're cosmically aligned with your life purpose. And that's a wonderful thing, honey. Bye, 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 bloom. Don't you think that it ain't? And the Indians are trying to help you. And it's telling you to don't stop believing in your journey. By journey, that song. Don't stop believing. So just remember the journey of what spirits taught you because you're seen as a person that shines greater than the rest. Ooh, maybe you know an Aquarius or maybe you're just a star, Scorpio. <clears throat> maybe you're shining in your new thing and these people see it. You've always been loyal and you mind your own business and that's why people will always try to come after you. Okay, Scorpio. Or someone that you're inquiring on, they're loyal, so don't think that they're not, all right? Maybe you're not an Indian, but maybe your person is, and you're all aligned to your life purpose. And you know how to hustle. You've always had to make a living for yourself through multiple avenues, or like a jack of all trades, or a Jane of all trades. You're good at everything you touch. <coughs> so your Indian lineage has taught you to how to hustle and be good at anything you touch. <laughs> Oh, well, you're a chosen one. I love you, Scorpio. Go ahead and hit subscribe because that's good. It doesn't come out with everyone. But uh, chosen ones will always have people come after and betray you, but God will reveal all who hurt you to redeem you. You know that, right? All right, what else, Spirit? What else? Oh, it's saying, it's telling a reveal right now that maybe you're going to have to talk to someone of authority because someone's partner or business partner may have been stealing money from you but you might have sensed them doing this because they know they owed you money Ooh, did you hear that scorpio but don't worry because god's letting it come out and now they're going to be in their business because you mind your business they're they're looking in their business and they would love to trick and deceive you and if you're connected to an Aquarius, that's who they is loving to trick and deceive. If you know a star. If you do, go ahead and hit subscribe and like. What else about you've always been loyal? This woman is praying for your downfall only because you believe in a different religion or because you're spiritual. These people that love to trick and deceive you, they don't like you because you're spiritual. <laughs> imagine that. We'd have never imagined that, would we, Scorpio? But you got a twin flame, and it's a very intense connection because you are connected. And someone is getting exactly what God wants you to have because you had faith in his timing. So don't worry, because you know how to hustle in your Indian lineage. It's bringing it to you, and you got two crosses out here. So maybe people, you've had to learn how to control 
you have to take control of how you respond to people in harsh situations and talk in a cool, calm, collective type of way. <clears throat> That's what you've learned how to do. And what about don't stop believing in a journey and somebody's business partner could be stealing money or your true partner. It says you're getting ready to travel the world. Uh, Divine Masculine wants to take you anywhere you wish to go. Just say where and you'll be there, baby. So don't worry. And they love to trick and deceive you, Star, because you honor and love yourself, because you're unique and different and know what and know that God loves each and every one of us. And what about who's praying for our downfall? Who is that spirit? Oh, that's Chiron. Uh, karma's getting delivered to these people. Who is karma getting delivered to, Spirit? Whoever was gaslighting and love bombing you, they're getting karma. And you're going to get good karma because you're young and mind, body, and soul, so you're going to receive good karma. And Divine Masculine wants to go fishing with you today, it said, oh, or Divine, or you want to take Divine Feminine fishing, but that's what it's saying. And you need to accept that you'll not always agree with everyone, and people isn't, is not always going to agree with you either, except people's differences. We know that, don't we? Yeah, we know that, don't we? <clears throat> all right, that's all I'm going to do with them messages. Ooh, hang on, you guys. Spirit, can we have a little love mats for Scorpio? Can we have a little Scorpio? Scorpio, it's way down here. It's going for buddy. They somebody lying to you, Scorpio. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, somebody you're connected to, and it could be somebody you work with, is lying to you, okay? Oh, and it, or it could be lies coming from this new love that you're looking after. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and they could be lying to you. Trying to deceive and trick you because they know you're balanced. Um, but it's saying that you need to keep an open mind about your soulmate because they must be coming around and it's telling you to give yourself, give your relationship a chance. What else about this new love? This is another one. What else about new love? It's saying stay optimistic about your love life. So don't let this one person override somebody else is what it's saying. Stay optimistic about. Just stay positive because it's saying that you're going to reconcile someone from your past or just turn into your life. Okay, so maybe it's telling you... Um, this new person is lying to you or this person from your past, but you're needing to, you know which one is. Just pray on it and your guts will tell you. All right, Scorpio. And what else about keep an open mind, give your relationship a chance. You need to play and be playful like a child. Go out and swing today or something. Uh, go out and have fun. Go swimming. Go fishing. It done told you because... It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So whoever this soulmate is, it's safe for you to love them, okay? All right, so there you go. Bloom and Blam, two different ones. I hope that helps y'all today, Scorpios. But I love y'all in peace. And go ahead and hit a little subscribe and a like if you like this type of reading because I need help and I need my name to get around. And I hope y'all have a wonderful, peaceful day. And today is Thursday, July the 7th or 8th.